I'm going to show you a few demonstrations and those demonstrations seem simple but they're not as simple as you may think and that's the reason why I do them. I have here a plank. The plank is nicely brushed, it's smooth everywhere but not exactly the same smoothness but very close. And I have here an instrument that tells me what the angle is of this plank. You have to take my word for it, it's 7.6 degrees. So, if I put this object on here, this is plastic, it's nicely smooth, then it will stay there. You would say, why does it stay there? Because why doesn't it slide down? Well, you know the answer, all of you, because it's the friction that holds it in place. But if I, ra if I make the, the angle larger, there comes a time that the friction is no longer capable to compete with gravity and it starts to slide. Let's see at what angle that happens. So I read, and you have to take my word for it, I go, I go very slowly, 10 degrees, 13 degrees, 15 degrees, uh, 16, 17 degrees. Okay, you're not impressed, right? Now I have a question for you. Suppose I put in here six hundred grams and I'm going to do the experiment again. Six hundred grams. So the weight that I have added is probably sixty times the weight of that little plastic box. If now I raise it again, do you think that it will start sliding earlier? than the 16, 17 degrees, or that it will be much later, or that it makes no difference. Yeah, you, Those you are the three you, options. You probably think it would be earlier, do you think? With the, with the actual you think way. earlier. I think about 12. You think about what? 12. Low, it lower. Will, it will yeah. go earlier. I think it will be about the same. Okay, anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Twelve. 14, 15, is in one degree the same. Similar then. And that, of course, is what I teach students in class. Now, the reason why it isn't exactly the same as in half a degree is because the plank is not everywhere the same smoothness. So it depends on where I put it. If I did the same experiment three times in a row, it would differ by one degree. But the remarkable thing is that with this incredible weight in here, makes no difference. Now I have an easy one for you. I have here an, a stapler and the stapler has a rubber at the bottom. Uh, what now do you think? Will it start sliding earlier or will it start sliding later? I suppose it's, it's stickier so maybe you think there's a more friction. Is it, so maybe later? Yeah, maybe, maybe later. I think so yeah. too. <laughs> I mean clearly rubber is much more friction and so there we go, 15, 13, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. So it's clear that it is more than 16. All right, so so much for the friction. Now let's go to something entirely different. I have here a brass solid cylinder and here I have an aluminum one with the same dimension, the same radius and the same length. Now this one is at least five times heavier than this one, maybe four times. And I'm going to do a race between them. I don't need this anymore so I can re remove that. The angle is not important. And now the question is which one do you think will win the race? Which one will reach the end first? The, the heavy one, one or the light one or maybe they arrive at the same time. The heavy one will win, right? Yeah. That seems reasonable. 
because if you're heavy, you go a little faster, right? Okay. I'll give you the aluminum one on your side. Ready for that? Three, two, one, zero. No difference. That heat. No difference. Why is that? So we know that if the cylinders have the same length, the same radius, that weight is unimportant. Could be anything. This could be 10 times heavier. Okay. Now I will have here aluminum and I have another aluminum which is shorter. They have the same radius, but now this one is shorter. Which one do you think will now win? Let's take a look. Three, two, one, zero. No difference. <laughs> so now I have shown first that the weight is unimportant. I have now also shown that the length doesn't matter. I have here brass. We already agree that the material doesn't matter. They have different lengths. We have already demonstrated that that doesn't matter. But now comes the issue. Would it make a difference if the radius is so different as they are? You ready? Yes. Three, two, one, zero. No difference. In other words, I have now shown you something quite remarkable, which is not at all intuitive. As long as the cylinder is solid, it makes no difference, number one, what the material is that it is made of, number two, what its length is, number three, what its diameter is. They will all roll down in the same time. Now I have a last question for you. This is aluminum solid, and this is aluminum hollow. Now we're going to do a race with these two. Which one do you think will win the race? Three, two, one, zero. Okay. The hollow one <laughs> will always lose. Independent of its weight, independent of its diameter, independent of its length, the hollow one will always lose. So then I have here two cylinders and I'm not telling them which one is hollow, but one of them is hollow, which you can't tell. Three, two, one, zero. <laughs> hollow one always loses. I will show you last but not least, yeah, uh, a larger difference than what I have here, you cannot even imagine. This one is enormously heavy, enormously light. This one is way longer, enormously small radius compared to this one. Even these two, since they are both solid, should arrive at the same time. Three, two, one, zero. Same time again. Yeah. So is, it, is there a simple way of explaining why? why no, it's not simple. No. No, no, you need calculus even. You know, no, it's not a simple way. No, 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 no. But what, it, what, what I can tell you, I can, I can give you uh, maybe a feeling for it. Um, If you take these two cylinders, then the outer cylinder, the outer circumference, has the highest speed, of course. The inner one has a much lower speed. In other words, if you look at it from an energy point of view, have you ever heard of the word kinetic energy? Okay, so the, if you think of this as a series of shells, but 
they're all together solid, then most of the kinetic energy per weight is on the outside and not on the inside. Right? Because the speed is higher. Now here, all the weight is at the outer portion. Therefore, all the kinetic energy is sitting in here, in the part which is the highest. And therefore, it takes more time to go down because it's not so fortunate that it has mass here which takes very little energy. So this one demands way more energy per weight than this one. And therefore, it is purely a matter of geometry. The hollow one will always lose.